Hey YouTube, Test Jess one here. I'm going to do another video on the uh, Hot Toys Guardian of the Galaxy Chris Pratt as Peter Quill. I uh, I gotta say the the likeness to Chris is very good. I like the semi smirk because he is a bit of a comedian in the movie. Um, very happy with the sculpt. Uh, actually feel I'm uh, pretty happy with the whole thing so we'll move down to the jacket now the jacket I I have to say is uh, spot on I I've, I have not seen a jacket quite as detailed like this one for a, a long time I can't can't remember a jacket that I, I can sort of associate that one close to it's definitely one of a kind I like the way the the guards are made of like a semi soft plastic on the forearms and on the shoulders. The back details again is very detailed. I like the way the the okay. uh, weathering on the is done. It's sort of faded out and sort of dry, sort of lost its color on the bottom and, and uh, looks like it's been mended in some places there is a lot of work being put into this coat and I'm pretty sure it's leather so it's definitely a uh, well made coat and a lot of thought being put into it the articulation in this is pretty good it's about 28 points of articulation uh, it does come with a full boot who doesn't have any articulation in the ankles which which is pretty good I don't, I don't mind really to tell you the truth he's got his thrusters that are joined to the boots you don't put them on they they're actually glued on uh, the details in the pants are to perfection and also he has his holster that comes with the with the pants I love the details and the pant, the the quality in the pants, and the uh, also the holster. It's well made in every way. The back of the boots, and a close up of the thrusters. I can imagine this figure going quite high in price later on in a few years, so it would be definitely one to, to jump on before it actually does, because I can see it starting to go up already. I love the uh, torso area, the way they've done the abs and the chest, the fine fitting shirt underneath, almost like a sports fitting shirt. It's a shame they didn't have the uh, other coat, which is uh, the short hemmed coat to go with this. Um, that would have been a quite a nice feature. So we'll move on to the accessories. First up, we have his blasters. We, you, you get two sets with them. They're uh, highly detailed, very well painted, and almost identical to the prop they use in the movie. Okay, secondly we have the uh, tape deck and tape that's supposedly inside of it. Uh, it doesn't open. Uh, as far as I know it doesn't open. I've tried opening it, I can't open it. Uh, and also the headset. I believe in the movie the tape deck was uh, had a Sony label but I, I'm due to copyright I think that's why they didn't put it on there. And those, otherwise they would have had to pay them as well. Uh, the third item is the exclusive item. The handcuffs that you see throughout the movie. Uh, not a lot of detail put into this. It's not painted in any way. It's basically just a, a mould, a grey mould. But good, just the same. Here we have the orb. 
that holds the infinity stone uh, it's not metal it's uh, just a, a plastic cast but it still looks quite good the next is the plasma orb you also get three additional hands uh, one to hold the orbs and the two trigger finger hands uh, they are also well detailed and painted uh, to perfection next is the uh, fixed helmet that you also see through it well mainly at the beginning of the film uh, it is also well detailed the helmet does have some weathering on it and uh, does look like a some sort of metal even though it's not <clears throat> very fine detail of the face uh, definitely a plus to have this head it also does have a light up feature the panel on the back of the head comes off quite easily and it displays the switch that you see at the back and by switching that on you remove the tab by switching that on you display the two LED lights that are quite a good feature I, I think they light up really well uh, the may seem to come across a little pink on this video but they're definitely not pink they're a very rich red so and finally very good head you have the carry-on bag that straps over his shoulder and also straps under his waist uh, it has a press stud on the side which adjoins the waist strap and I believe it's a uh, well somehow it studs on on the back I haven't seen any sort of studs on the back in any way unless it's a magnetized stud but it doesn't really need to be studded to his jacket it's just a uh, fine sitting on his back as it is uh, I do believe this is also leather so another beautifully handcrafted piece of material and well made they also have two additional wrist pegs the base is um, well made um, it does have that grilled platform look about it like it's in a spacecraft I like the way it looks um, I think they put a lot of thought into it and uh, it uh, it's a, it's a different feature really, it's a different design that uh, Hot Toys don't usually do, they usually do the big bulky bases or just the plain old black ones so I'm, I'm liking the way Hot Toys have uh, come up with this uh, Here base. Here I have the helmet set up, uh, the batteries aren't really good on this helmet, they're starting to sort of fade already so <laughs> it doesn't matter, I'll put new ones in there. Uh, okay the so just give it a close up, turn some lights off, here we have the Star Lord in a uh, arms out with his blasters pose, wearing his helmet, his digital helmet or whatever you want to call it, and uh, the lights on. It's a very good design piece. I, I absolutely love it. I think it's uh, definitely going to look great on the detail. For all those that uh, are contemplating getting this, I'd probably be a little bit quicker than normal because I think the price might go skyrocketing on this figure. I just have a sneaky feeling it's going to hit the 500 mark very soon. So jump on it now if you can. Uh, don't wait around and uh, enjoy the figure. Test just one out. Catch ya.